Hey guys, Menace here for uh, Quad V as we bring you guys live coverage from Epic 8 all the way here at Utoxida. Uh, Call of Duty 4 Tournament hosted or sp uh, sponsored by uh, Thermal, Tech e uh, Thermal Tech Esports. And we're going to be jumping straight into the first match. It is Hijinx versus Division 5, where uh, it is starting off with the lower seeds, guys, as we're playing into the group stages. There's going to be best of three. The first map is Crash, it is set. Second map will then uh, be chosen by the losing side, and then, of course, the third one if need be. Um, so yeah, jumping into the server here, we can have a quick little roster rundown from these guys, the division side guys. We have Quirks, Aiden, Keys, Sims, and Kyle. Hijinx, we have Revy, Brine, Kaz, Fzu, and Oryxes. And we'll have the knife now to determine who is going to be the uh, side that picks where they want to go. If they're going attack or defense, of course, it is Crash. Some might say the defense is the better side to have. Hijinx sticking very closely together. And it does seem Division 5 were doing the same. Kyle starting us off here with the first knife. And a very nice little jump knife there from Sims coming off of Crash. Three versus three. As Keys grabs another one for his team, bringing it down. And we'll see the first knife going in favor of Division 5. And they are going to be choosing what side. Let's see what they say. Nothing as of yet. Now, uh, both of these guys, I have spoken to a little bit earlier, and uh, both of them said that they're pretty much just aiming to get out of groups this event and uh, just have loads of fun. I mean, there are 22 teams attending this event, £2,000 up for grabs between the teams. It is £1,000 for first place, plus uh, a bunch of very nice keyboards. Uh, second place is £750 with headsets, and then third place is £250 with five mice, all from Thermaltake Esports. And it looks like they're just having a little bit of a check, just making sure uh, if it is first to 13 or if they're playing all 24 rounds. It should be first to 13. It is best of three. Then again, rounds could make all the difference. I believe we have it happening at Grunix where, an, uh, where one of the teams had a massive debate about who is going to be going through. And it was on rounds that they went through. And here we go. It looks like Hijinx will be taking the defensive side while Division 5 are on the attacking side. Going to be taking away with Scopes. Let's take it away with Kaz. See what he's doing up on this B alley side. Going to be peeking up and Quirks is going to be the first one to grab a frag here. Switching right over to him. It looks like it's going, for, going to be an A push from this Division 5 side. Quirks playing it strong. Where's the SMGs? Revy around the back. Does get flashed up. Brian catches someone moving up into that side for Keys. Is quickly there to pick up the frag for his teammate. Down to a 2 on 4, Division 5 looking strong in the first round. Kyle grabs the headshot there onto RX's and it's all down to Revy. And Aiden will finish him. Well, first round going to Division 5 looking very strong as, uh, as they start off. Although it is the opening round, don't take too much from it as of yet. Going to take it away with Kyle here in the second round. He has got the bomb. Very nice fast front spawn. See if he can catch it. It has actually dropped the bomb so that uh, his teammates can pick it up behind him. Dodging those nades. He's going to be going over the fence. The nades are stopping. Hijinx moving into that back A side, so he should be able to move in here pretty much uncontested. He nearly grabs himself a frag and does spot up for his teammate who is moving into that A side. He's over that wall again, and the SMG that was spraying him earlier will now be able to lay down some fire upon. Brian takes him out, and Division 5 not looking as strong as they did the round before. Hijinx looking a lot steadier, playing it a lot slower. So we'll watch Keys taking it slow. He is in that bottom A side. Moving out towards the front, it doesn't really look like Division 5 have much of a tactic uh, at this point in this game. They just want to take it slow, get some picks where they can. Let's see what these scopes are up to. Kaz is sitting all the way back on sandbags, got a nice broad view of this whole map. Just trying to get a pick for his team where he can. While well, Quirks playing it very sneakily, trying to sneak down this B alley. He has actually heard a play in Link. Gonna be taking it slow, coming around the corner. Oh, nearly catches Oryx is off guard, but Oryx with that AK-5 is gonna land the headshot and finish him off. Division 5, two men down at the moment with Kaz ringing in a shot to take out Sims. Aiden in the middle of the map, completely exposed, really not a position he wants to be in, and FC is going to punish him for that. Taking it to 1-1, one, one, looking, looking good for both of these teams right now. I mean, Division 5 grabbing the first round, know they can do it. And Hijinx at the moment, just trying to hold it strong, trying to play it slow on defense. This is the first map, of course. They have still got a second map in case it all goes pear-shaped for them. And with Carl, very fast B push here from Division 5, pushing down this alley, FZU. Gets caught off guard as he throws a flash. Carl moves up, does grab the frag. Going to be moving onto this hardware area. Has actually hit a player above him. Jumping onto this burn. Can he grab the frag? Oh, spots the AK. Is he going to be picking up? Yeah, he does grab Oryx there. Moving across the Aiden, laying down that covering fire for his teammates that are moving in. 
And uh, Division 5, a whole lot better this round. So far, only one player has dropped for them. And it is all down to Cavs. Cavs grabs the shot there onto Kyle. He's still got three more to find. Spots another one, tries to no-scope, doesn't land anything, heavily tagged up. He's got to be watching out for that sandbag pick. He does fall back, knowing that that is a real possibility for him. Moves forward. There is a player waiting for him, and it is Keys just behind the barrier. They're going to be taking a 2-1, and that is Division 5 with the round lead. A very nice B push there. It's not often that we do see B pushes coming out on Crash, especially knowing that everyone gets so funneled as, uh, as they move down that alley. And it seems to work out very well for Division 5. Caught the players off guard and grab themselves around. Taking it away with Carl. He's going to be pushing up into this mid area. And Oryx, who has been playing so aggressive on that mid side, grabs himself a frag but does fall. Maybe extending himself just a little bit too much with that AK. And Ravi grabs the frag there onto Kyle. Aiden with the revenge frag there. Now, it's pretty much just one for one at the moment. Division 5 with a man advantage, and they have got a player into that bomb site. And it makes it so much more difficult for Hydrant to try and regain, although Brian cutting off any reinforcements as he takes out Aiden is going to fall back. He's just really looking for this frag. And scope is not up for Hijinx. He's going to be feeling a little bit more comfortable. Does take out Brian. It's all down to Evzu. See if we can flicker and fire on him. He's on sandbags. Has got an AK. Every possibility to actually pick up this clutch. He's in a very clutchable position, especially with an AK, being able to wallbang that bomb site. And uh, with not too much firepower coming out from that A site. He has the bomb going down. Starts spraying through the wall, not really hitting all the right spots, but he does see where the players are going. Tags up Sims with one shot there, but it was only a single bullet, and at that range, not really doing too much through wall. Now moving forward, all the other guys, Keys are sitting in tight, watching water, making sure no one's going to come up there. And Sims on these stairs, they could not be holding this bomb site any better. There's really not much chance for FZ here as he moves in. Checking out this corner, as he comes around this corner, probably going to die, and there we go. Shots coming out from Sims, lands the headshot, takes a 3 1, moving two rounds into the into the lead here, and the attacking side looking really good for Division 5. So uh, this seems like this was definitely on their practice list before they got to this land. Uh, taken away with Cassio, let's see if he can maybe get a wall bank, going for that smoke shot through the wall into bottom blue, lands nothing. But his teammate does help him out, grabs a nade frag, taking out Kizu, is pushing that A side very fast. It seems like Division 5 are really going for that, play as fast as you can, and if not, just go for the picks. Oh, Kaz actually lands the tag onto Kyle through the wall. Kyle's going to be sitting inside just waiting for uh, his health to regen there. Revy moving forward as some covering fire was laid down on the place, pushing into bottom A. He's going to be waiting for anyone to walk into his aim. Could happen any second, literally. And Quirks actually had pushed down all the way onto B alley, took out Kaz. Revy's now going to notice something's up here. Has he spotted the player in the doorway? Yes, he has. Lays on fire, takes, or takes a couple of hits onto Aiden. But now with three players towards that mid area and Division 5 knowing that hijinks are all stuck towards that A side, they should just be going B as quick as they can. Why aren't they? What is stopping them? It seems like they have got the bomb. They are finally moving across Quirks. They're going to be the one bringing the cover as uh, his teammate moves in for that plant. Oryx takes out Sims though. And it's down to a two on two. Quirks now realizing he's got a couple of players under him. He's got to cover his teammate as much as he can. Oh, but with, fight, with aim like that, he's going to be missing everything. Aiden takes out Revy, and Hijinx had that rotate going. They could have actually really had this one back, but Quirks, with that aim, giving them a chance. And we will see Aiden picking up the final frag. They're taking it 4-1, and now just really moving into the lead. Yeah, three rounds in the lead. Hopefully land nerves on getting to Hijinx, and they can pull this one back quickly. Let's uh, stick it away here with Quirks, see if he maybe gets that opening pick. Oh, nearly gets it. But he has actually got a player moving up on this B alley. He's going to be sitting it back here. And it looks like Division 5 are also going for this B alley push. So very gotta be, they've got to be careful for this one. Oryx just grabs himself two frags. Revy's also rotating in here. Looks like everyone wants a little bit of this action. And Brian's pushed all the way up. And it seems Hijinx have just annihilated this B push. They have not lost a single player yet. Sims is your last man standing. And even Brian is playing it safe. Waiting for the rest of his teammates to move in here so they can all just pick off this last player together. Sims is in a very bad position. It's so difficult once you're in this kind of position with five players pretty much coming around you and they're not even pushing up. They're just waiting for Sims to move out. They have no reason to push him, flashing him, distracting him, pulling him away there. And Oryx just actually grabs the wall bank to take Sims out, bringing it back to 4-2.
and a lot stronger defense there. It seems that Hydrogen's played very aggressive though. And I actually want to take it away with Quirks again. See if he can maybe get an opening pick going through mid. And no, he's actually going all the way up until he does spot an AK. But unfortunately that does not connect. He's going to be falling back. And it seems FZU and Oryxes are going to be moving forward here again on this mid side, playing very aggressively. But then again, it worked for them the last round. Let's see if they can do it again. Kyle taking out Revy. We'll see FZU moving up here. Oryxes takes out Kyle. One apiece down for each side. Epsu moving in with an AK. He's got an SMG teammate in front of him, so he should be doing a little bit better. But still not the best position. Close range for an AK. Let's flick it over here with Cass, who is in this B alley in a little bit of a tussle. He's just got an AK pushing up onto this hardware side. Again, it just looks like they're going for the fallback tactic. Him and Oryx is just staying together, making sure they got their B covered. Brian takes out Quirks. But Quirks with a nade from the dead as he takes out Epsu. And Hijinx still having the man advantage. Brian's got to be very careful though as one rotates through mid, was called from his teammate and he ducked out of that one as soon as he could. Cass scoping it onto that bottom A, not going to be hitting anything as of yet. As uh, they pretty much just wait for Division 5 to start moving in here. Aiden sitting towards back A, there is one lower A, he's got to be very careful about where he's looked and Brian just walks up with a deagle, takes him out. Actually was all the way onto roof A. And uh, that means that it's 4-3. Hijinx bringing it back, taking two rounds now in a row. Looking a lot stronger than what they were the previous rounds. But it seems that they are being very aggressive. And I want to find where is Mr. Oryx's, who is playing extremely aggressive on this mid side with this AK, really applying pressure. And they've got to be careful because they've actually got two SMGs pushing up this mid side. Can he take out anything? No, Keys takes out Oryx's. And Brian pushes up all the way onto B Ali as there was no pressure placed on it. And now at the moment, it's just got to be careful because he's pretty much surrounded by division five players pushing down he's not watching his back deal comes out quirks shuts him down and now it's on to fzu to try and hold off on this b site he's only got an ak his teammate trying to rotate him but gets cut off there by aiden and now fzu in a very bad position one versus four land gets <laughs> tagged up by a scope 98 damage if he has anything to work with right now he needs to try and sit inside but it's not going to happen as keys pushes him on uh, hardware there takes him out five three is now your scoreline Having a look at the scores, Oryx is on 10 frags at the moment. As uh, we see the others are pretty much even. Only Evzu and Revy struggling to get off the ball there. Eight rounds in. Now Cass slowly watching towards this B alley. It looks like he's a little bit nervous. Has actually spotted the scope. Going to be staying behind that tree. What is Quirks doing? He's fallen all the way back, staying away at this point in time. Doesn't want to get himself too much involved into that fight. And Hijinx again coming out on top. They've got... They've got two men up on the Division 5 side. And with Kaz landing the shot there onto Quirks, it's all up to Sims. He's in blue with that AK. Really hasn't pushed forward too much. And he's got a lot of ground to make up for his team. There is a player on Link. He's got to be very careful. Little fire coming in. He dodges everything. Picks up an SMG. Moves forward. There is a player on that bomb site. And pre-fire, but in the wrong direction. Brian shuts him down. And Hijinx bring this back. Only a round difference now between the two. Look how we get on the scoreboard. Rex is not grabbing himself much that round. Staying calm, staying back. And uh, going to be picking it up with f -Zoo. See if he can do much with this AK. Of course, those SMGs have been plaguing the mid side of Crash heavily. And we'll see Keys again grabbing a shot there onto Revy. f -Zoo holding a tight, just trying to catch anyone that walks through mid. Playing this very smart, actually. Picks up the frag there onto Aiden. He's going to be falling all the way back and should do so. He's grabbed the frag. He doesn't need to put, him, put any more pressure on himself. And this means it's again once to Division 5, once up to Division 5 to bring this one back into the round. Going to be taken away with Sims, he's going to have to sneak it down B Alley. He's going to have to try something really extraordinary actually to bring this round back. Because the, both these Division 5 players are split. Sims pre-firing that B Alley, giving away his position. I don't think that was the best one or best thing to do. He could have really just pushed down there. And with Brian taking out Quirks, Sims is your last man standing. Needs to walk all the way into the middle of the map to try and pick up that bomb. But no, F's is having none of it. Takes him out. Bringing it back to 5-5. Five, five. And it is looking good for Hijinx at the moment. They're really getting into that defensive mode. And if they can seal this off 6-6 six, six, or 7-5, I'm pretty sure they're going to be very happy with themselves. Cass spots an SMG on that B alley. Oh, Quirk's getting heavily tagged up. Cass actually taking him out with a second shot there. Cass spotting another one. Can he get that frag? No, it is an SMG that is jumping left and right, right out of his aim. 
and having none of it, Keys at the moment has pushed all the way into the hardware, but is on his own at the moment. And with only two players left, Division 5 are not looking strong this round. Once again, hijinks have pretty much just adapted to anything uh, anything Division 5 are doing at this point in time. And Keys might actually be snucked on by this ladder. No, he's not. There is a player right in the BL. He could have been sneaking up on him. Oh, wow. Oryx is with a flying AK headshot. Incredible stuff that's actually landed. Rather lucky. And it is all down to Sims now. One versus five has grabbed himself the first round. Can he do this one for his team? No Fsu spraying him down through the wall, takes him out. Hijinx bringing it 6-5, having a lead here after being, I believe, 3-1 down. And it seems Brian and Oryx is really standing out for their team at this at this point in the game. Let's see what Quirks is doing. Scoping it up through mid, was going to go for that gap shot, but there is no one there to connect with. And again. He's going to be going for this B alley push. He really could. It worked the first time for him, and he hasn't really tried it much after that. Flicking over to Fsu as he watches onto this crash site. Not connecting with much. Ravi pushes, uh, or catches Kyle pushing off into that A site. And now Division 5 fight back. Rap, two frags. Ravi and Oryx is both dropping. And it was all on that B side, or B side of things. It was rather neglected by the hijinks guys later into the game. And now we shall see Quirks casually pushing out of this link area. Has got his golden AK with him. Not much to connect with at this time. There is a player on sandbags. He's got to be very careful for it. Has actually pulled out his scope. And he has spotted Kaz. But now the standoff begins. Is he going to be re-peaking this? He really could. And he lands the shot there onto Kaz. Very well played there from Quirks. And it's all down to Brian to bring this one back. Has grabbed the first frag. It is a one versus four for him. And a moral boost it would have been, but Quirks shutting him down and taking it to 6-6 six, six at the half. I'm pretty sure both teams are rather happy with that one. Attack is not really all the most fun on Crash. And on the other hand, Hijinx not having too much of it on the defensive side. Or should be having a lot more fun on the defensive side. And so far, looking good, guys. So, uh, yeah, if you guys want, please uh, tweet out at Epic Land. Send your shoutouts. At Quad V, do follow us. But jumping into the second half, it seems these guys are raring to go. As let's take it over with the scopes, usual fashion. Kaz going for the bounce shot, doesn't land too much, doesn't spot anything actually, and is free roaming it down here at the moment. Sims takes out Brian, tries to go for the no scope, lands a tag with his deagle, falls all the way back after a, such an aggressive push, completely fumbles it, and is falling back. He's gonna have to rely on his teammates to see if they can do something. Revy has pushed into that hallway side, takes out Sims. And now is going to be playing a calm, waits for his teammates to reinforce him. There are still four players up for Division 5. Make that three as Kaz evens it out. Now pushing forward with that bomb. Size this guy, but it doesn't seem like they are too sure where they are going. Spots the head of an AK all the way towards spawn side on defense. And there's actually no one in A for Division 5. Wow, Kaz with another shot there onto Kyle, playing it solidly at this point in time. Revy takes out Aiden, but Quirks on top of his game as he takes out Kaz, cr crossing towards that bomb site. And the bomb has actually been dropped. The last two players are towards hardware side. Revy hitting the headshot to take out Quirks. Rather unlucky there. But uh, could have been something there for Quirks. Could have done something with it. Really felt he could have. Didn't happen for him. And Kaz going for the jump shot once again, but getting denied and taking a lot of damage as uh, Quirks actually lands a shot on him. And now it seems Hijinx are going for this push down this B alley. Is it going to work this time though? It seems very spread out. They even have a player sitting towards that T wall in mid. Rx is pushing forward by those hardware stairs. Keys takes out Fzu. Four on four. Revy really wants to come around this corner. There is a player waiting for him at the end of that spawn road. Oryx is with a nice little jump shot here. Can he take the frag? Yes, he does. Takes out Quirks. Scope down for Division 5. And it seems they're a little bit undecided about where they're going to go at this moment. They know where both the players are. Keys timing it perfectly as he takes out Brian. But Aiden, only one left defending the speed bomb side as his teammate takes out Keys. Sorry. As Kaz takes out Keys and Oryx falls to his death. I was a little bit confused by the kill feed. And Kaz is going to be finishing it off onto Aiden there. And that's going to take it to 8-6. Seems hijinks again, you know, Division 5 were good on the attacking side, but now hijinks do th doing the exact same. And it seems hijinks are going to have to uh, 
just carry on with this momentum if they want to take it to a quick win in the second map. Which, of course, will be decided by the losers of this map. We'll see Kaz with a nice shot there onto Keys. Flex back towards B Ali. Has actually spotted an AK down there. Not going to be doing too much about it at this point as Oryx has now decides he's going to be moving in with his team. It seems they can get the bomb down. Hijinx, three men to the good as Kyle, Aiden, and Keys are all down. Only Quirks and Sims left make that only Quirks. Scope left in a one versus five. Fire coming in from every which direction and he'll be taken out. And it seems Hijinx are just rolling on into this one now. It seems they just needed some warm up on their aim and it's going a whole lot better for them. See Kaz, he's gonna go again for this jump shot. No, he's not. Quirks is going through the mid scope, seeing if he can maybe land something in blue. But with that spread out attack on this B side from Hijinx, it is gonna be so difficult for him to actually get that shot. Spots one in blue, flicks away very extravagantly. Maybe too extravagantly. Could have stayed down for a bit, maybe taken another shot. I'll see, he's pushing forward. Kyle on Revy. Could, high, or could Division 5 actually hold off the hijinks attack this round? Kyle going for the extremely long range SMG shot. Not going to happen. At only 8 damage per bullet, he's going to have to land quite a few hits to uh, take out that player. Just spraying into that A bomb site. The choice of the Golden AK not really helping him in any way. Has got the bomb with them, and it seems that. Hijinx are just trying to get those picks. All three players moving in a line forward across this map. Spotting anything they can. Oryx is moving all on his own into this A side. Tries to wall bang onto Wood and there. Lands the shot there on Skis. Very nice play there from him. To take out Keys. Now moving forward again. His teammates working with him. To take down that player in mid A. He knows one's there. Wow, and it was Kyle who finally takes him out. And FC is your last man standing off the flurry of frags. Aiden runs out of bullets. The Kyle's fight. He's got to try and get away as quick as he can. Deagles come out. Aiden lands the shot onto FC. And it'll be Divisions five, Division 5's first round this half. To, uh, or first round in this half as they sit on defense. Now 9-7. Only two rounds difference between these two. Still open to anyone to take it. Second away with Kyle. He's moving to this A site. SMG in hand. Deagle moving forward. Seems he's going to spot a couple of players in mid and then move down onto the stairs. Just trying to catch it off anyone moving up here. And it works out great for him as he takes out Revy. His teammate back A getting dropped. So he's the only one left in A. He's going to have to rely on some cover coming in from back A on those AKs. And you can see he's sitting well away from the door. He does not want to be sitting next to those cardboard cutout of windows. As he'll easily get wall banged in that position. And I swear I just heard a 1D come out from Sims. That sounded brilliant, that one shot ringing off and the player drops. Now Oryx is moving forward with that bomb. Middle of the map, doesn't really have his teammate here to help him. Kaz is still sitting towards that back spawn side. Aiden runs out into the absolute open playing field and gets punished for it. He really should have known better in that situation. And now what's his plan here? He's going to be going for that climb onto that, onto the glitch. It seems so. Goes for the jump, going to be missing it the first time. Can he land it the second time? Really wasting his time. He's got to watch out for rotate through mid. Fails it for a third time. And well, if you've getting if you've gotten it wrong three times, you should realize that it's maybe not your climb to be doing at this point in time. Instead, he's going to be laying down some covering fire as his teammate does go for that bomb plant. planted. And Sims taking out Kaz as he runs away from that bomb site. Oryx is hiding off to the side though. Well, Sims. And Kyle work together to bring this one back. They are coming in from completely different angles and they're coming in very slowly, making sure that they meet up together to try and clean out this bomb site. So even if Oryx does get one, that should be a quick one for either Kyle or Sims to grab a frag. But no, Oryx takes out Sims. The last player is towards the hardware side and it was Kyle. Kyle making loads of noise. Oryx just needs to sit, sit tight. There's only 12 seconds left on the clock. He just needs to bait for a little bit more, but grabs the one versus two. Superb play there from Oryx. Is taking it to 10 7. Gonna be boosting the morale a bit. And now, let's see what these scopes are gonna be doing once again. This battle continues on B Ali Quirks. Looking like he's over flicking his mouse. There lands the shot onto Kaz, but Kaz took out keys. And that's an SMG down, and especially on Kraz. An, an SMG is such a valuable player to get that close range play. Moving forward, 
There is a player on this crash site that Quirks needs to watch out for. Actually lands the frag there onto FZU. Division 5 crumbling right now. I say that. It's Division 5 standing strong and hijinks crumbling. Only Oryx is left as he's pushing down B long. Golden AK once again. Can he sneak the bomb site all the way to B? Or at least take out one of the players and clear a bomb site. Moving forward. He's actually trying to intercept this angle between both players. Oh no, absolutely fails his aim there as he tries to take out Kyle. Heavily tags up Kyle, but Kyle just walks away and brushes it off. Going to be regening his health to fight another day. And now Oryx is just jumping left and right, trying to find any player he can. It seems that even Quirks is running away. He doesn't want to challenge this one without his teammates with him. Going for that fake onto that bomb site. Where is Quirks? Pulls in with that deagle, has his scope with him. And Nate lands right next to the bomb. Doesn't actually tag Oryx up a bit. And now Oryx tries to go for a fake once again. But again, teammate work here coming out from Division 5. And we do see Aiden Quirks working together. Grabs the frag there onto Oryx. Is taking it to 10-8. Only two runs difference once again. And this battle is getting really heated between these two teams. And once again, Quirks coming out on top of the scope battle against Kaz. He's going to be feeling really good going into this round now. Especially knowing, or especially being able to tell his teammates that they can move around a lot more freely in this map. Now really moving down. It grabs the frag there onto Serbs. And now Aiden onto Oryx's and quick flurry of frags as we have Revio Lost Man standing one versus four. Division five fighting back. They should be able to pick up this round. They should not let Revy clutch this one. Revy is in a really bad position. Doesn't have much cover around him. And we'll see Quir Quirks in with that deal to take him out. 10 nines the scoreline. Only one round difference. Looking over the scoreboard. We'll see a phenomenal amount of kills coming out there from Oryx's. 19 rounds, 18 frags. It's not the average scoreline you'll see today. Aiden dropping that nade there onto Brian. Kyle moving forward, going back to his cover of this doorway, laying down, playing it differently every run. It seems when you flick over to him. How's Revy going to be playing this one? He'll be wanting to get up in, into that bomb site. Spraying through all the wall bangs they can, as there are so many in COD 4 these days. You can pretty much clear out a map by just spraying through walls. Now Revy pushing forward into that bottom A. He knows there's a player on the stairs, and he really wants to challenge him. But Kyle having none of it, is going to be falling back at, at this point. Oryx is moving to lay down some extra covering fire. Sims takes him out as he moves back towards front A. Fsu heavily tagged up. Division 5 looking strong, Have not lost, or has not lost a player as of yet. Revy free firing as he comes up these stairs. He knew Kyle was there. And hijinks evening it out. Back onto a three on three. Make that a three on two as Kaz lands the shots there onto Quirks. A little bit of payback for what uh, Quirks did to him the round before. And it's all up to Ada now as F2 has spotted him towards back air. Revy coming in from the A side. Gonna take him down. Hijinks 11 9. Two rounds lead at the time. Or at this point in time. Looking strong. away with Quirks. Let's see if we can get an opening pick here. Yeah. Aiden lands the nade there onto Oryx. Oryx is pushing into mid. That aggressive AK play that he's been having on defense. Clean not working so well from on the on the attacking side. And a team nade coming out from Brian. Brian, what are you doing? Now is not the time to be taking out your team, especially when the other team is so close to your score. Lingering around in mid. Is he going to be moving into this A side? He is... Seems very edgy at this point in time. Casually walks past that doorway, not expecting anyone to shoot at him. And now just watching the doorway at the top of the A stairs. It seems that hijinks need to take it slow, especially after losing a player to a teammate that round. And was that Kyle spraying him down? No, it is Keys actually on the other side of that window. Takes him out. Quirks taking out Kaz though. And now it's all down to F suit. Where is he? He is in this mid, has got the bomb with him. But with four players spread out spread out across the map like this, it's going to be difficult for him to bring this one back. Slowly moving the up the A stairs onto that A bomb site. Even if he does get this bomb down, it's going to be so difficult for him to get out the bomb site. And flying out onto wood and trying to land the shot there onto one of the hijinks players. But Fzu just below him takes him out from behind. And it's going to be 11-10, getting very tense this first game. And of course, with the best of three, we can't have a tie in the group stages. Kaz landing a first shot there onto Keys. Hijinks starting strong. Brian takes out Kyle. 
and Hijinx should just be able to rush into this A bomb site. There is only one player make that. No players watching the A site as RX takes that Aiden. Two versus five. And Sims heavily tagged up. And Sims actually lands an AK wallbang there onto Brian. Quirks with a nade, trying to fight back, but Quirks, your last man standing. One versus three. Player on Hardware's got to watch out for. And there's two players in A that are at any point in time going to try and get this bomb done. No, Kaz actually picks him off. 12 10 match point, or sorry, map point for um, the high jing side. Let's take it away with Kaz, see if he maybe lands something here in this mid side. Spots an AK flying off that ladder as a nade goes out. And this B side is actually very open from the Division 5 side. Having a look over at the map, there's actually no one on the B side for Division 5. So if Hijinx wanted to do a quick little rotate and they could win this one, but of course they won't know that. They won't know where Division 5's players are sitting. And now Rev sneaks it out towards back. It doesn't pick up any frags and Kyle punishes him for trying to be so opportunistic. Aiden sitting back A. It seems the Division 5 guys have finally cracked it on defending this A bomb site. No bomb has gone down on this A site. As of yet, Oryx is with that wall bang. Takes out Kyle Bryan onto Aiden. Sims is your last man standing. And where is he? He's all the way towards back A. Going to be running up Wooden. Can he stop the bomb plant go down? No, he can't. Instead, just tries to shoot the crash site. And Bryan takes him out. And that's going to be 13-10. First map going in favor of Division Sorry, in favor of hijinks as they take a 13-10.